we go. Let's get right into this tonight. We are going to start by drawing um, an air, like a V. I guess we'll call it a V up in the corner here. <laughs> this really isn't going to be that hard of a challenge to figure out what we're drawing, uh... but it is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, now with this V, we're going to kind of make a smaller V right in the middle, just like this. Okay. So you got four lines all intersecting at one point. And then we're going to draw a line between these two parts and these two parts. Okay. And then we're going to draw another V. But we're going to start here. And then we're going to connect it to that one. Ooh, that one takes a little intention. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to draw a little line here. Okay. And then there's a couple, uh, just a little baby line here. This is a different kind of a paper airplane. And we've got a, a, a paper airplane shooting out there. Okay. I, I think there's at least one interesting term in every let's draw. A little baby line here. <laughs> baby I, I'm going to go through each let's draw and come up with the definition. Yeah, it was <laughs> yesterday I said bendy. A little bit bendy. <laughs> little bendy, uh, little baby line. Yep. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a little bit of an abstract drawing. So we've got this paper airplane pretty clear. Mm -hmm. But then this is kind of fun. And this is, this is going to be uh, completely, uh, everyone is going to have their own version of this. So basically, I'm just going to start with a line. And then I'm going to start doing loops mm -hmm. like this. Oh, that's fun. All right. Yeah. Steven says happy little airplane or paper airplane. <laughs> All right. And now the fun part is we're going to add some color in here. Yes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to almost treat this like it's a, a stained glass window. Nice. And color in the little facets here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be fun to see what you guys do because... Everyone's going to be so different. Right? There's a lot of, um, a lot of uh, opportunity yes. here for creativity. I think and I actually learned is... this technique on Mr. Rogers. Really? Yes. He did this when he was sitting next to his um, fish tank. Like he did a drawing oh. that was all scribbles. I think Jennifer's called it a scribble drawing where you do all these and then you fill it in like a big stained glass picture. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's another thing that, that is kind of fun to do is just to draw a random scribble mm -hmm. on your paper. We do that with the kids. And then you look at what it, what it looks like. Kind of like uh, a clouds, cloud, cloud you know. Watching, right? And um, you can, and oops. we're making the art therapist very happy. Yeah. She says <laughs> it was very therapeutic. I have to say, just even watching it, I want it to all be filled in. You know, <laughs> to keep filling it in, keep going. Well, and I have Relaxing. I've done some similar designs like this, different paintings with a paper airplane, and to me, this scribble area uh, represents like the busyness of life mm. and adultitis and just the hustle and bustle and that really that's why the paper airplane is so important to us and is literally the brand our brand and our logo is um you know just because it's it represents freedom mm. and it represents uh, rising above all of the uh busyness and the adultitis that we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis and um it's it's kind of a good symbol plus it you know I, I think it's cool because it's a very childlike kind of a thing um but it also makes me think of like paperwork and bills yeah. and office work and so it's kind of a thing where we as adults uh, are dealing with paper quite often and sometimes that paper is not always fun, contracts, things like that. And um, it, it, it's like this paper airplane is a good bridge between mm -hmm. the childlike side and the adult side. Yep. Now on the inside here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a little bit um, grayer because it's in shadow. Oh, that's so that's cool. another little technique. And then I'm gonna go even darker down in here because this is even in a more oh, yeah. darker shadow. So Kate Kate Bartell um said she pulled out the box of sixty four crayons. Ooh, for she's this, not messing around. Right? Sweet. Yeah. That's, she is not messing around. A couple around. years ago at a summit we gave everybody a 
each attendee a box of 64 crayons. Remember that? Yes, that, we did. With that the was sharpener one of the on the back. Yeah, that we was always, uh, We always kind of try to do little surprises. Surprise and delight. Because that's one yes. of the things that uh, us grown-ups don't get enough of. I think we have like two tickets left for the summit. I think one. Well, we had one and then someone had two. We had two. Someone okay. bought it. Okay. And then someone had to bow out. So like technically we still have two even though we had one. But Okay. Okay. Escapeitalhoodsummit.com if you are interested in if that. This is please. like, oh, you still have a ticket left? Yeah, well, it's I can't, yours. I can't so believe it because it. it's about done. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, okay, so here we go. Oh, Last week, Mary Beth, this... we did some fun pet rocks. These are her, um, her little friends at home. I frankly, I'm, I wasn't sure how this would turn out, but I, I was hoping that you would take it and run with it. And you guys did. Of course they did. Uh, oh. Jennifer had a little band going on here, <laughs> so incorporating Marty in there. So the that keyboard. Was excellent, no excellent job. Mm -hmm. uh, Steven also oh, had some uh, different ones. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, Kim. That that one on the top, I believe, is Bernie Sanders. Oh. It's a Bernie Sanders rock. Oh. The little mask and the little the little gloves. <laughs> um, so I, I noticed, I noticed that one. <laughs> And uh, what else David. we got? Uh, Helen oh, brought out all kinds of different nice. shapes and animals, and a that snake even. that little uh, Marty is oh freaking adorable. Yeah. And uh, Martha, if Martha's still here, oh. this was she sent us a couple. This I, I wanted to show this one. This is so... Rock and Robin. See that? Get it? Get it? Oh yes! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> rock nice. and Robin, and then there's Badger, and then one of those um, rock. Uh, Hydro Hydrox Hydrox ah, something like that yeah. some some you know that little brown guy mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that is oh, so um so cute, pretty Martha. adorable mm -hmm. so way to go you guys uh, very impressed thank Seriously. you for sending that in and if you drew your uh, paper airplane with us this week um, or if you're watching the recording you can send these in at any time yeah. we love seeing them we see we know teachers do them with their students kids do them people do them in staff meetings. Send us your drawings. Send them to kj at escapeitallhood.com. They may end up on a live show just like